Hey everyone, welcome back to the Summer Pie series and in this video we'll be going over the science being pursued by the LSST and the different research directions we could expect to see once it's up and running. So the LSST has four main science goals. First off, we want to observe the changing sky. This simply refers to the time series data or the light curve data that is going to be collected. And by looking at how light changes, we can identify the different things going on throughout our universe. This includes finding supernovae, gravitational lenses, quasars, pulsating stars, and eclipsing binaries. But we're also excited about the possibility of finding things that we've never seen before. The second main science goal is to further study dark matter and dark energy. These are of course some of the biggest questions in physics today, and a lot of our theories and observations rely on it. The LSST will be able to make many more observations that tell us further about how dark matter and dark energy behave. For example, gravitational lensing is one of the best ways to study dark matter, and standard candles such as Type 1a supernova can be used to study universe expansion which is connected to dark energy. Having all this data on these different astronomical events will help provide more insight as to how dark energy and dark matter influence our universe. We'll be able to come up with more constraints, we'll be able to verify or falsify existing ideas, and then we could come up with even better theories than we have today. The third main science goal of the LSST is to further catalog the solar system. It will be able to find many more new near-Earth objects and potentially hazardous asteroids. We have this goal of defending planet Earth, of course, and Congress has actually mandated NASA to catalog 90% of potentially hazardous asteroids. We actually have several cool ideas for defending planet Earth from these PHAs, some of which include using nuclear weapons or gravitational attractors. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory actually has a public log of the near-Earth objects we currently know of, and they have some cool visualizations to show what that looks like. Another aspect of cataloging the solar system is to study the outer edges of it. The LSST will be able to detect over 40,000 objects beyond Neptune's orbit, also known as trans-Neptunian objects. This is an area that we don't know that much about, but studying it will help us learn about the formation of our solar system. Understanding the distributions of the orbital parameters and sizes of the objects here are a great way to test our ideas for planetary formation. The fourth main science goal of the LSST is to further study the Milky Way structure and formation. It will be able to detect over 10 billion stars and it will have the ability to catalog very faint objects. This includes red dwarfs which are the most common star but they could be very difficult to see. They are interesting because they help us establish more constraints on star formation and star properties. Some other research directions for the Milky Way are to study the mass distribution of it, to find more exoplanets, and to get a better sense of the Milky Way's galactic halo. Overall, the new capabilities of this telescope will give us a more complete view of the Milky Way. Just to sum things up, the LSST has four main science goals. We want to study the changing sky, we want to develop our understanding of dark matter and dark energy, we want to further catalog our solar system, and we also want to get a better sense of the Milky Way structure and formation. I hope that by introducing you to the science being pursued by the LSST, you feel more connected to the data that we're about to work with. This is a very exciting mission, and it's amazing that we can participate. Part of the LSST's mission is to serve as an educational resource, and there's certainly a lot that we could learn from it. In the next video, we'll start to dive into the data, where to get it, and how to use it. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.